If I had to guess, I would say that the internet browser Microsoft Edge is something that you haven't thought about in a long time, and that is, simply put, just because it is not very popular. Even though it is the default internet browser that comes with every Windows device, obviously including the uh, Windows operating system for computers, the most popular operating system. With that being said, you would just think that it would be a popular internet browser, but it is absolutely not. Yeah, just breaking it down by the statistics, there are different sources that break this down for internet browsers. Wikipedia takes it from three different sources, but essentially, Google Chrome, unsurprisingly, takes the number one position. They are actually used by over half, yes, over half, of all internet browser users, anywhere between 50 and 65%, depending on the source. Next comes Safari, anywhere between like 15 and 25%. And then third place is Microsoft Edge, depending on the source, it is between 3% and like 5%. Yeah, not a great number. I would bet that uh, pretty much nobody watching this video is probably watching this in the Microsoft Edge browser. It's too bad because while I don't think there is uh, anything inherently exactly wrong with Microsoft Edge, I've just always felt that there is not as much to it as, say, Google Chrome. I think the extensions are probably more advanced and well-rounded for a browser like Chrome, while at the same time I think there's probably less bulk. So Microsoft Edge, unfortunately, even though it has a lot going for it, being the, the default browser for the Windows operating system, it just has really no popularity compared to Google Chrome. Internet Explorer, if you remember it, uh, actually came before Microsoft Edge. That was released back in 1995. Microsoft Edge was released exactly two decades later in 2015. And then I actually didn't know this, but Internet Explorer was completely discontinued just two years ago in 2020. Too. I'm two years late to the funeral, but uh, yeah, that's kind of a shame. I do remember that internet browser, but anyway, I'm getting a little off topic. You get the point. Microsoft Edge is now the Microsoft uh, browser, and it's not very popular, but I think this new feature that has just been announced by Microsoft is actually huge for this browser. It's something that could very much help it stand out in the world of gaming, which is not something to take lightly. Obviously, a lot of people who are gaming are using PCs, and obviously, obviously are also surfing the web. Those two things can obviously go hand in hand quite a bit. You can find yourself looking up guides for games while you play games, and that is actually exactly what this new feature called Game Assist is aiming towards. Helping you do just that when you're only having one monitor and you don't have like two or three monitors. So a lot of the times you have to alt out of the game just to open your browser to, you know, look up a, a video on something or like a guide. According to the research that Microsoft referenced, 40% of PC gamers do this at some point. I'm actually surprised the number is not larger. I just did it today, though it was not on PC, it was on console, but yeah, this happens quite a bit where you do have to do this, and if you're stuck with one monitor, like I said, you have to alt out of the game, and that just ruins the experience, and is just very clunky. So basically what this new game assist feature does is that it basically works like an overlay over your game while you are playing that game, and I've seen the videos that they are showing in this blog post and it actually looks like it runs pretty well. I'm gonna link this blog post in the description and they have certain videos in the blog post that kind of shows off this feature. But it's very cool because you're not just limited to looking up guides but you can also like watch YouTube videos while you are uh, playing your game. And you can use like Discord, Spotify, stuff like that. You could even check like Facebook or, or text or whatever. And also the way I understand it anyway, I believe this is going to work in all game launchers, not just Xbox. Also, from some discussions I saw about this announcement, uh, I learned that Valve apparently did this quite a while ago with Steam. Kind of like a, a Steam web browser for while you play games similar to this, but uh, it looks like it uh, just is not as good. I think that only works with Steam games as well, and it looks like it hasn't been worked on and addressed for quite some time. It doesn't look like it's very popular. So maybe Microsoft Edge could kind of steal this thunder, and it looks like they are doing it in a much better better way than Steam. Now it's worth mentioning this is right now in what they are referring to as preview, essentially probably like a beta. So they listed nine different games that you can use this new feature with right now, but it also looks like they're saying that they will add other games as well into this where the feature is more optimized for that specific game. I'd assume though that even if you're playing a game that's not on the list right now, that this feature I think will still work. It might just not be 
as optimized until it's added to the list. So right now the nine games that are on the list are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Fortnite, Hellblade 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, Overwatch 2, Roblox, and Valorant. But like I said, they'll add more as they go on. Overall, I think this is a very cool feature and I think this is going to give Microsoft Edge an edge over the competition, no pun intended, and I think it's very much uh, much needed. Like I said, they are not popular, definitely uh, when compared to browsers like Google Chrome or Safari. This is absolutely something that could help them stand out from the others, especially among gamers, which is a very good thing.